Hello everybody, my name is Oliver Leopold, and I recently jailbroke my iPhone 6. It's 9.0.2. I had to downgrade from 9.1 to get this jailbreak, but I used Pangu, and I'm ready to tell you my top 10 tweaks. So the first one that you can see on my home screen is called Round Dock, and basically what it does is it makes a round outline that stands out a little bit outside your dock and it's pretty simple but it looks really nice and i would really recommend it to a lot of people because it's so simple and it just makes your device look nice over anything else there's no configuration nothing just installation my next thing is called CC settings and it's for your control center. So basically it gives you all these sheets of settings and you're like, whoa, what am I going to do with all of those? But really they're so useful. I get cellular on my first screen and just anything you could ever want, even like pressing the home button or simulating that. I can lock the device. I can do things like I can clear all of these just in one button and i can restart the springboard so many different things so that is cc settings the next one is enable live photos so i have an iphone 6 not a 6s and as you see right there it gives you the live photos button so just quickly i'm going to take a picture and it took the picture and now if i go view the picture it's a live photo, obviously, without force touch, but it's still a live photo. My next one is called F.LUX or Flux, and if we go find the app for it right here, basically it detects when it's nighttime in your area and removes the blue light from your screen so it's better for your eyes if you're looking at it at night. So that's what it looks like during the night and then when you wake up in the morning and knows your location and it thinks everything out. It actually also works for Windows and Mac and Android, but you need a jailbreak for it to work with iOS. My next one, you might have seen it on the, when I unlock my device, it's called Lock Glyph, and it basically looks like the Apple Pay logo, and you get the check mark, and it makes a nice little sound, and it's super convenient. Now, if I go into the configuration for Lock Glyph, I can choose my behavior, I can vibrate, shake fingerprint if it's wrong. I can even change the colors and the location of the button, and it's really nice, even the animations. The next one is called power down. So when you hold your power button to get ready to shut it down, you also get some more settings. You get power off, reboot, respring and slide into safe mode so it's super convenient get all these settings instead of having to do them manually or with a bunch of different tweaks also you don't need a certain button to do it it's right where you would expect it to be the next one is called priority hub and it's for notifications so i'm going to go simulate a notification send test notification so say i got a text what it does is it sorts out all the applications with notifications there so say it's only messages i can click on it to see more it's really nice if you wake up you have a bunch of notifications you don't have to look through them all you can kind of filter them My next one is called Snapchat Log, and it might be kind of like ruining Snapchat's model, but basically it records and saves all of the Snapchats that come in and out. So I'll show you an example. I'm going to take a picture, and I'm going to send that out to myself. Make sure to add me on Snapchat, Ollie5511. It's an old username. Don't judge. Okay, so I just sent it. So say, dang it, I forgot to save it. Well, it's always right here, and I can go ahead and save it, or I can go ahead and delete it. But then, say I open it up, and it can be from anyone, even if it's a second long. There it is, and then it will appear in your received. So boom, it's right there. It's also great for being able to save videos and things like that. It also works with your story, so if you want to save someone's story video then you can do that 
with Snapchat log. My next one is called Zeppelin. This doesn't really stand out when you look at my phone, but there's no like Sprint, Verizon, AT&T, or Carrier thingy there. That's because of Zeppelin. I just removed it all together, but you can do, you can type in your own text. I can say like, hey, and once I disable that, it says, hey, I can even put an emoji and that'll work fine. Or I can choose from a logo or a theme that you can download. So like Windows, Windows 8, None, Nike, etc., etc. And my last one of this top 10 list is called Face Down. So look, I have my phone. Okay, I'm going to zoom out for a second. Boom. Wow, I'm done with it right now. So amazing. Oh, wait. But it's locked. So what happens is when you put it down, it locks your device. So let me unlock it. Whoops. Okay, so say I'm like, oh, reading emails, blah, blah, and someone wants to come over and see my phone. Boom. I can just put it down on the ground or on the table, and it's locked. Okay, so that is pretty much my list. All of the tweaks the names are in the description thingy the about section yeah description all of these are free and if you like this video then i will do another list i'm already starting to compile that list so even if you don't like it but still like it and then take the straw poll below to choose which one is your favorite thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one peace bye i almost forgot make money with chase and jared in the link in the description.